Ursa Vushrom's building. And the third is the 26V includes the abstract geometric compositions as well as the motif of the significance to the Maison. The collection is not only a tribute to the City of Light, but also as a love letter to the place Bendum and Bushron's original boutique there at number 26. Chapter 1. Paris, where dreams are infinite. Through this collection of high jewelry, Bushron, a very Parisian maison, conveys its own particular view of the city, which combines elements of reality and creative fantasies. Like the question mark necklace, a Boucheron signature, it is a circlet which does not close, but which ends with glorious flourish. A very good example of this is the Flutican. The flourish is a spray of canthus leaves, which decorate many columns in Paris. It is fabed with diamond and set in white gold. The necklace is complemented by a pendant earrings and a brooch and a ring. The lips are so delicately crafted they might almost be moving. Meanwhile, the large gilded horses on the roof of a nearby opera house are transformed into a miniature prostate crystal sculpture for a ring and a bracelet. Their manes are made of packet diamonds. Chapter 2 Place Pendum Where the only praying is greatness. Frederick Boucheron was the first among the great contemporary jewelers to open a shop in Place Pendum. Today, the Maison Boucheron pays tribute to the visionary spirit of its founder. From the windows of number 26 Place Pendum, Claire Choisny, creative director of Boucheron, shares her personal view of this unique place, which has become the heart of the French jewelry. Like the couple stones of Place Pendum, shining wet with rain, which was the inspiration of the Fée de Cristal necklace, where the rock crystal palliates and the diamond on white gold form the necklace, with a pear-shaped pendant detachable to wear as a ring. The very shape of place bendum is seen in an emerald cut 32.5 carat barrel, double ring bordered with diamonds. It echoes Bushron's logo, as does as the tail emerald ring which layers yellow beryl on citrine on rock crystal. Chapter 3 26V Where Creations Knows No Limit 26V is the Vucheron family house and the heart of its creative enterprise. It is there in the studio under the roofs that inspirations become reality and take shape. It is there of course that the idea came this year to design the very first Vucheron stone. A very good example of this is the 26V jewelry set that is composed of a long necklace which is set with a 5.32 carat flawless BVS2 round diamond at the center and it is surrounded by this black onyx, rock crystal and catch along, fabbed with diamonds on white gold. Now looking at this necklace, you can see the complexity and the craftsmanship of the Maison and you can match it up with a ring on the side and a bangle on the other. Oh, this bangle is beautifully made. I mean, take a look at the 20.45 Ceylon emerald cut sapphire. It is also surrounded by onyx and baguette diamonds, fabbed with diamonds on the side, mounted on white gold. Eight on our list is the serpent bohem, one of the signature creation of the house of Boucheron. The celebrated serpent bohem line from 1968 is a dedication to the house of iconic serpent, presented in a symbolic way rather than a figurative one. In 1888, Frederick Boucheron gave his wife Gabrielle a necklace representing a serpent. The long bohème necklace is nothing but the temptation of infinity. The piece brings panache to your cocktail attire, or sets a fire to a cashmere high neck jumper and streak pencil skirts. The designs are characterized by a dance of gold and precious stones with the order of beaded contour, pear-shaped motifs, and cold accent mimicking the serpent's textured skin. Originally, only diamonds were used as gemstones, however, as the years went by, the house added amethyst, citrine, onyx, white madder pearl, lapis lazuli, and for their 2018 fall collection, 
the turquoise was introduced as well. Whether in geometric perfection of design or in purity of its art deco lines, Boucheron has always displayed a passion for abstract design. For nearly 160 years, Boucheron's inclination for correct proportion, noble structure, and majestic forms has influenced the artistic creation of its jewelry. Like this beautiful hotel particularly necklace, the Maison's first address was 152 Galerie de Valois. It is central to family history as a place where Frédéric and Gabriel Boucheron started their business way back in 1858. This incredible necklace evokes both the atmosphere that reigned there and the view afforded by its viewer's window. Set with 21.80 carats yellow sapphire, rock crystal, matter of pearl, and moonstone, babied with yellow sapphires and diamond, with black lacquer on white gold. Such a beautiful creation, perfect proportion, and a beautiful design. Another beautiful piece in the collection that I'd really like to show to you is this beautiful, beautiful Bentham chromatic bracelet, set with a 94.15 carat Heliodor burial on rock crystal, fabid with diamonds on the side, set on yellow gold and white gold as well. Or just fix your eyes with this hotel particular ring set with 7.75 carat yellow sapphire pabbed with diamonds on the side and yellow sapphires as well with black lacquer on white and yellow gold. There are more pieces in the collection that will captivate you but for now let us just enjoy the few. Six on our list is the collection of animals. Animal symbolizes a virtue character of traits or value, they become totem and mounted on the ring, a necklace, a brooch or earring. Set with emeralds or sapphire by Boucheron's gifted artisan, the animal collection becomes a precious and exclusive companion. Nature has been part of Boucheron's history. So to ask the parade of animals, ever since 1886, the launch of every several high jewelry pieces have seen an animal as a source of inspiration. That is why for this season novelty, animals including the hedgehog, the snake, the parrot, and the hummingbird had been reimagined into a stunning collection that came into life in the hands of the jeweler, from the earrings and the necklace and the ring. The collection has been beautifully crafted with rich materials and techniques that include diamond fabric on the edges, the black sapphire, and the yellow gold and citron. Boucheron has found its philosopher's stone in nature supreme, unmatchable and unassailable. The jewelers meld its source of inspiration to whom it offers eternal life. Boucheron's creative director, Claire Choisnet, had an idea which seems exactly that, unattainable. She wanted to blend the delicate flower with precious metal and gemstone in order to create something truly unique, a floral design ring that combines all the mentioned elements. As a result, a nine-of-a-kind creation named Flu et Renal. Following several years of research and innovation via an entirely unprecedented secret process, Boucheron has succeeded in immortalizing fleeting beauty. Their designs are incredibly realistic interpretations of various flowers, made using an innovative preserving and stabilizing technique with no chemicals or pigments. Boucheron masters actually employed real flower petals to decorate the precious metal, alongside paraiba tourmaline, the pradpadasha sapphire, spetartite garnet, and a host of other precious gems. Now, the collection is perfect in every way. It is the first in high masonry, in high jewelry's history as well. Their birth exceeds the dream of Frederick Boucheron and crystallizes yesterday's impossible. Fourth on our list is Nature Triomphant. It is an ode to Boucheron's beloved nature. The generous and untamed nature so richly expressed in its collection since the very beginning. The Nature Triomphant collection is a tribute us to the beauty of nature, whose diversity, ideal aesthetic, and symbolic abundance 
offer endless sources of inspiration to Bushrod. Next, it is a tribute to the innovative and free spirit of the Maison, which has never ceased transcending the jewelry codes to craft unique pieces of stunning audacity. Now let's try to look at some of the most beautiful pieces in the collection, like this beautiful, beautiful Sigal Dinesh, stunning, beautifully crafted, fragile yet elegant piece of art. The necklace is set with a chalcedony and fabric with diamonds on white gold, with a touchable rock crystal motif set pendant on the center that has about 3.7 carat flawless VS2 Type 2A kite cut diamond and fabric with diamonds on its side set on white gold. The second piece in the collection that I wanted to show you guys is this delicate and feminine set of jewelry set called Nodge the Flu. Now this set consists of a necklace, an earring, and a ring. But let's talk about more on the necklace. As you see, the flower petals are made of mother of pearls, fabric with diamonds on the side, and set on rose pink gold. On the center, on the other hand, is a 42.96 cushion cut pink tourmaline. And the third piece is the Lily Jewelry Collection. The Maison chooses the lily, a legendary flower symbolizing power, majesty, and opulence for millennia. Boucheron's version is imbued with light, like this beautiful Lee's Regent necklace, set with a pear-shaped diamond of 3.2 carat on its center. The flower is made of rock crystal that is fabbed beautifully with diamonds. Third on our list is the Boucheron Honeycomb Tiara. It takes a lady with a serious tiara here to pull out one of the biggest sparkles in Britain, the Boucheron Honeycomb Tiara, which was the favorite of the late Queen Mother and is now worn by her granddaughter-in-law, the Duchess of Cornwall. The tiara was originally not a royal piece at all. It was made in the 1920s by Boucheron for Honorable Mrs. Gravel, a society hostess who is a friend of King George and Queen Elizabeth. In fact, the Windsors apparently call this the Gravel Tiara. When Mrs. Gravel died in 1942, she left a boatload of jewels to the Queen Elizabeth, including this tiara. Elizabeth's term as the nation's queen consort was relatively short. She was widowed at 51 and she lived for another half a century afterwards. Even though her daughter was now queen, the queen mother continued to conduct a large number of royal engagements and she still had reason to wear some of her elaborate jewels. She wore the Boucheron tiara up until her death in 2002. There are some pieces of jewelry which once you see them cannot be forgotten. A number of things can make such a jewel. It could be that it looks incredible or it could be an original concept, unusual decorative material or the use of innovative techniques in its technical composition. The Jufu necklace from Boucheron Vlu Jufu collection has all of these things and much much more. The French Jubilee House first presented their one-of-a-kind necklace in Paris way back in 2015. As with all of these pieces in the collection, Vaucheron's creative director Claire Choisne designed it in honor of one of the India's most beautiful city, Jodhpur. The Jodhpur necklace plays on both of these features, inspiring everything around it with radiance and notes of vivid blue. Indian jewelry was traditionally worn as an expression of the status of its wearer, lavish and expensive, a far cry from the modest contemporary necklace designs you see today. As you can see, the precious stones adorning this necklace are set in an inlay not just on gold but on rock crystal, a technical detail which makes the design process considerably more challenging for the jewelers of Boucheron, as the rock crystals can crack at any moment during the inlaying process. As a result, the design of the necklace took more than 1,700 hours. Boucheron introduces Hivier Imperial, a new collection of high jewelry inspired by the aura of the Far East vast stretches from snow-covered land. When Boucheron opened a shop in Moscow way back in 1897, it was the first French jeweler in the city. Its history is therefore closely tied to the Imperial Russia, its Slavic heritage and endless expenses. 
Bushiran brings you three main themes from the region, the nature, the couture and the architecture. The geometric symmetry of snowflakes, frozen waterfalls, wildlife and frost-covered fur, snowy rooftop, a high jewelry collection of diamonds, pearls and precious stones, sparkling in the winter time. Welcome to the Bushiran's Winter Wonderland. Bushiran is free, free to express its strength, character and its instinctive rebellious nature. free to go from naturalism to a hypnotic extrapolation of the flora, fauna, and minerals. By integrating the shapes and possibilities derived from joining the excellence of the Maison's traditional craftsmanship with high technology, Boucheron surrealizes, illustrates innovation and creation at work. Boucheron is free to create differently and to position itself at the helm of an era of originality by breaking the codes. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.